Hi folks, it's Nana JL54. Janet, hello! Coming to you from the Love Shack XL. This is the third time I'm trying to do this. I keep getting interrupted. Hubby doesn't want to be on the video, but he keeps coming in. So anyway, let me... I was having Cheetos and doing my video. So, Cheetos and a video. Alright, about mom. Mom was in the military. My mother was, uh, signed up right at the end of WW2. Um, and uh, so she was in the WAC, the Women's Army Corps. And back then, the, the military, um, the uh, Air Force and the Army were combined back then. So anyway, um, yeah, Mom and Dad met there. And uh, Dad was in the Army and Mom was in the Women's Branch of Army Corps. Whatever. Anyway, um, and she used to, she was a trip. She used to get in trouble in the barracks, and uh, she, they would tell stories about, you know, she'd wait until, like, the middle of the night when everybody was sound asleep, and she'd pop a potato chip bag and then have to peel potatoes for a week. Things like that. Mom was a rabble rouser. So, um, and one of, one of the biggest jokes that when we were kids, um, we used to listen to, and we, we never really understood it till we grew older, but she would say that, yeah, she, she got a purple heart and they were like, you saw, you saw, um, uh, what do you, what do you, you saw not, uh, action, you know, you, you were in the action. Mom said, yes, I was. I got a purple heart. And, and people were like, wow, Marge, tell us about it. And, um. And she said that, she, uh, yeah, she fell off a bar stool in the, in the Seminole bar and she was in uniform. <laughs> so that was a war injury and she got a purple heart. <laughs> so anyway, I just never understood that until I got old enough to understand it. So that's one thing that mom used to tell. And then um, the other thing was that I had it on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I got it. It was free entertainment. Another thing about my mother was, mom could always find stuff to do for free that was fun. Always, always, always. And um, some of it was kid stuff. You know, um, uh, uh, they'd take us to the airport and we'd lay out on the roof of the car uh, and watch the airplanes go over. Mom would pack a lunch or um, we just, you know, oh, I know when the circus came to town. A lot of times we would go to the circus, but most of the times, if we couldn't go to the circus, we would go, mom would get up early and pack sandwiches and stuff and put us kids in the station wagon, and we would go, we would take the day off of school, we were little kids, take the day off of school and we would go and sit like in the parking lot next to where they would offload because the animals would come in trains where they would take uh, offload the elephants and then they would set up. Um, the tents, and they would have the elephants. Now, nowadays, they don't do the big tents a lot of times. They do, you know, they do convention centers and stuff. But back then, they did tents, and um, the elephants would pull the poles and pull the strings, and that was like better than the circus itself. And I, I remember we, I think the first few times we saw that, and then we went to the, to the uh, circus itself. It was like, this ain't so cool. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's one thing. And the other thing is um, the free entertainment was, for her, free adult entertainment was, mom had a crew she rolled with, her friends. And I'm going to tell you their first names was uh, Phyllis and Mar Marilyn. And so it was Marge, Marilyn, and Phyllis. And they, they were something else. And they used to, mom used to get, she'd get us, dad would stay home with us, and she would get a cooler and uh, and they'd get sub sandwiches and they would go and sit. If you guys, any of you know where Miami is, they sit on 79th Street and Biscayne Boulevard, Boulevard way back when. And it was a much different scene. Uh, and they would sit there and watch the ladies of the evening pick up guys and watch the goings ons. Not, I mean, not watch the acts, but watch them stop the cars and take the guys and they'd go in. It was hysterical. Mom, and, and the thing is that I have an aunt and her nickname was Church Mouse. And um, she, my mom used to say she wouldn't say S if she had a mouthful. <laughs> so the, they invited her to go. <laughs> And she went. <laughs> it was so 
funny. So I remember all of that stuff. It's so cool. Um, free entertainment. That was free entertainment for them. And they just had a blast. They'd sit there and watch. And the other, the one last thing was when mommy was very, very sick. One of her last outings, we took her. She wanted to go to Key West. She loved the Keys. Mom fished the Keys ever since. The, when the Keys were nothing, Mom fished the Keys. And they built, like, these big, beautiful hotels in Key West. And we took her. Uh, she was in a wheelchair. Her legs had given out on her. And she had lost her hair. And, you know, it was, it was going downhill. But Mama wanted to go to the Keys, so we took her to the Keys. And we got a beautiful room, I mean, right out where the yachts are parked. And it was, I can't remember if it was the Hilton or the Hyatt, one of those, I think it was, I think it was the Hilton. I'm not sure. Anyway, one of those nice, really nice. And I went to the front desk and I told the lady, I said, listen, I need your nicest room. You know, and I told, gave her the story of how my mom, you know, like took us from when we were little kids. We'd been there you know, all our life been going there, and, you know, and that, you know, she wasn't well, and she just really wanted to sit by the water comfortably, and they gave us a beautiful room with a beautiful, um, uh, balcony. Well, we wanted to go out, and mom was tired, so she said, honey, just, you know, let me sit here on the balcony, you know, I just want to sit here and, and just watch the, you know, watch the water, so we're like, okay, mommy, so we left her, and when we came back, there was a yacht there, and Mom has an eye for trouble. There was a yacht there, and the you could tell the schnitzy people left, and she was telling us that, that the, the crew was having all kinds of ladies of the evening come on there, and she was telling us about their outfits, their get-ups and everything, and she just had a blast watching that. So those are the kind of things that, you know, that tickled my mom, and, um, and in turn, they tickle me about her. So just um, wanted to leave you guys with that. So I hope your Mother's Day was wonderful and um, love you guys a lot. And thank you for being interested in, in, in my mama and my mama stories. I really appreciate that because it's cathartic. It really is cathartic. And um, I promise if you guys want to tell stories about your mom or a loved one, I will listen. Um, I want to hear it. Love you guys and be crafty and... Um, I brought my art supplies with me, so maybe I'll get to do something. We'll see. Bye.